What's going on fellow band critics? I'm Steven and today, right now at this exact moment, we're going to compare the Ocean of Soul to the Ocean of Soul. I'm talking about the 2014 band to the 2023 band. That's about a nine year difference. I know it's 10 years ago, but we're looking at that 2023 season to 2014. So it's a nine year difference and we all know a lot have changed. There are chapter markers down in the description if you want to skip straight to the review portion where I'm going to go back and forth talking about how I feel each band sounds and the differences that I notice. What we're going to be looking at are some stand songs from when they played Southern 2014 and 2023. So it's going to be about four songs a piece. Then we're going to look at a halftime show from 2014 and a halftime show from 2023. Then we're just having some fun to compare. This band has also been invited to the National Battle of the Bands this August that's gonna be in Houston, Texas. So that's gonna be a lot of fun to see. And I know some students that are going to that school now. So good luck to all of you. Keep doing what you're doing. And remember everything that your band director in high school taught you, use that and translate it over to college. And I guarantee you're gonna be very successful. The video footage we're gonna see in here is courtesy of the videographers listed down below. I believe it's Marching Sport, Zimbalistic, and Human Jukebox Media. So here we go. Sit back and relax. Grab your popcorn and snacks without any further ado, let's do what it do. If you'd like to make video requests, consider becoming a producer or here's my cash app. So those are the two ways you can request videos. Moving on. All right, here we go. This right here is the fifth quarter from 2014 in Texas played Southern. So here we go. I don't know the name of this song, but it sounds good, right? Yeah. That was 2014, now this is 2023, here we go. Let me know the differences you hear down in the comments. Okay, all right, all right. Now we're going back to 2014.
what y'all think? What y'all think? I think about the instrumentation and I'm, I'm assuming the dance coach is, is different now right and that was 10 years ago Back to 2023. What y'all think so far about the instrumentation, the dancers? They sound better than they They sound better than they They sound better than I can actually see a difference now in the uniforms. Nice tubers. Hmm. All right, not bad, not bad, not bad. Back to 2014.
wins. Let's go, Tubas. Yeah. Are y'all singing? Are y'all trying to sing? Can't sing? <laughs> Said that. What? You can sound bad singing too now. Not bad, not bad. Like those tubas, but that singing was trash. <laughs> I right, go back to 2023. <laughs> Hmm. Sounds good, like it. It's nice when bands play nice and smooth and soft, you know. Nice job, nice job, nice job. All right, now we are going to a field show from 2014. This is, I think, from, I think it's like a homecoming show. I think it's what this was. But it's one of the best field shows that we saw from a video from 2014. So this is that, yeah. <laughs> I'm excited to see what they got going on for the National Ballet Bands in August for the field show.
and I think those are some alumni that's in the front, but I think they're gonna leave once the actual drill drill starts. The drill drill. <laughs> Nice sound, nice sound. Good job, alumni from then. <laughs> I mean, you're still alumni now, so. Good man, nice looking show. Nice and clean, music sounds good. What you all think? Nice job, nice job, nice job.
formation now. Looks like there's always been a lot of dancers. Ooh. Okay. That was alumni? Was it? All of them were alumni? Are you sure? They still do this today? We'll find out, won't we? I think so. I think so. Or no, they just. We shall see! Sound good, Tupas. <laughs> Nice job, nice job. All right, now, this is from 2023. Here we go. Let me know down in the comments what you think about the field show from 2014. 
Since the work is the same as the that work is six to ten dollars. Therefore, work is not easy to achieve. It is the work of the system and the tension of life, salvation, and God. The worship of soul is dedicated to the living of that man's history of showmanship as the work quality in our pursuit of work. Even the announcer's different. See, I'm excited to see Texas do more things like this. Looks pretty fun. Kind of new, you know, ish for the HBCU band anyway. I see the inspiration from, you know, the big Texas school. What is that? The big D1 school. But, you know, that Texas band has got like a thousand people out there, whatever. Like a step one drill or something like that. The ocean of soul is committed to continued innovation. We are poised for the moment and engineered for success. Ladies and gentlemen, we are the Texas Southern University. All right, 2023 version, yeah. What y'all think, what y'all think? A lot of competitors, but no competition. TSU, make some noise! Alright, nice job. It's a nice looking drill. Sounds good too.
Good lord. Well. <laughs> wow. Sound good, Tibbles. show facing that way. Got it. Yep. Nice job, nice job. 2023. What you all think? Let me know down in the comments. Let's talk about it really quickly here. If you love bands like I do and enjoy my videos, be sure to subscribe to my channel for more super awesome, great, kick-ass content. All right, so there you have it. That was a quick comparison between 2014 Texas Southern and 2023 Texas Southern. Let's start with the stand tunes. Both bands were battling against Southern in the fifth quarter when we were listening to the stand tunes. And the biggest difference that I hear is in the lower brass section. 2014 definitely had more tubas. You can clearly see that. And I feel like they had more baritones and just lower brass was just more powerful in general. When it comes to the balance of the band, I think the band today has better balance than the band back then because instrumentation is a little bit more 
more equal. When I say equal, I feel like that the balance of the instrumentation fits the sound of what they're trying to go for. But that's also a testament to how good they can arrange, because I feel like those arrangers on staff, I feel like there's quite a few of them, to include Brian Simmons, and I don't know the other one's names, forgive me for not knowing your names. It's clear that the arrangers sound like they know how to arrange for the band that's in front of them that year. So let's say this upcoming season, if they have a lot of lower brass, they might arrange a little bit differently. If they have more upper brass, then there you go, more woodwinds, boom, there it is. 2014 band, I love that lower brass sound, that deep, dark sound that comes through and everything. It felt like the baritones were beasting a lot more, tubas, trombones, like they're a bit louder, all that good stuff. And when it comes to just the quality of the band, I'm gonna say the 2023 version is cleaner. That's just my personal honest opinion. What do you all think? Let me know down in the comments. Bouncing to the field shows real quick, you clearly see there's a difference in the field shows. And by difference, okay, 2023, they are incorporating a lot of new different type of techniques and stuff that most HBCUs don't really do. When I say don't really do, I've seen some other bands do some things that are kind of similar, but nothing to that magnitude where I'll just say it, Texas Southern looks like they're taking a lot of inspiration from, I believe it's the University of Texas. You know, the big Longhorn marching band has like a thousand people and they're very close together. And turning and all that kind of stuff, or whatever like that. But it's fun to see HBCUs do it. And it's clear that 2023 can do that style and the HBCU traditional type style is a lot of fun. However, the 2014 band feels, you know, more traditional. When I say more traditional, kind of reminds me a little bit more of Texas Southern. When I say Texas Southern, the newer band seems like it's like a hybrid. When I say a hybrid, there are some things that are incorporated in the band that came from other bands. I'm gonna say that, I'll just say it because of that history that Texas Southern has had. It doesn't look and sound the same, which is okay because there's a completely new staff from what I understand. I don't know if there's any staff members from the old regime to now, but it's a clear difference on how they're doing things at Texas Southern. I'm not saying that the style is different, just what they do is presented differently. With that, I didn't know that Texas Southern had a little fast march. You know, I know most bands do, but I didn't know that Texas Southern had one. And I'm not sure if the 2023 band does that today. If they do, then I don't think I've seen it yet. Motion, they were badass back then, like they're a badass today. But I think that this team today definitely is a lot tighter, a lot cleaner, a lot more interesting. So kudos to all that good stuff that's going on there. And that's really about it. Now this band is going to be at the 2024 Pepsi Battle of the Bands in Houston, Texas. So I'm excited to see what they're gonna do on the field, hear how they sound on the stands. I hope that the band gets bigger. I think the bigger your band is, the more you can do with your music, which kind of makes sense. Not necessarily talking about being louder, you know, louder, ooh wee, you know, size doesn't really matter when it comes to being loud. I'm just saying when you have more instrumentation in your band, you can arrange things to sound differently. For example, if you have more woodwinds, you could add some more color in some more spots. If you have more trumpets, they have to be brighter, more mellows, more baritones, more tubas can sound darker, you know, all this kind of stuff that you band directors know better than I do. And when I record the bands, I can hear a big difference, like a big band sound versus a small band sound. Not volume, just the fullness of the instrumentation. So the new band today, the modern band, Texas Southern 2023 or 2024 coming up, I'm excited to see if the band has recruited more people to get bigger. And I'm excited to hear what new arrangements they have. I do miss the old style from Texas Southern just a bit because it seems like that was more Texas Southern. You know, this newer band seems like it's got a lot of influences from other universities. <laughs> I'll just leave it at that. But these are all my thoughts. What are yours? Let me know. Comment down below. Peace. Thank you for tuning in to Stephen Holiday Band Critic. If you enjoyed what you saw, don't forget to hit the like button, share with your friends, and drop a comment sharing your thoughts. For more captivating content like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel. You can further support this channel by clicking the thanks button next to the subscribe button or purchasing some of our new merch. Consider becoming a value channel member for exclusive access to behind-the-scenes footage, special live streams, and tutorial videos. Until next time, play in tune and don't hang over.